Shara Edie is just one of more than a dozen cyber seniors who have started okay. their own YouTube channel. Now we've got to wait for five minutes. And are vying for the title of best on. video. There. Ooh. And I'm going to turn this over. Well, I myself would have been terribly interested when I was younger to um, see what uh, older people did when they retired, you know. It's a mind-blowing project. <laughs> it is absolutely, I thought, well, to start with, I hadn't got a clue what to do. And much to their own surprise, some of their videos already have more than a thousand views. What do you think about that, that over 1,200 people have watched your video? Maybe it's because I've got all my teeth. How many people here have used a computer? That's great. We all know how difficult it is to, to learn something new, but we really do feel that it can change your life in a very, very positive way. Now, I'm going to introduce you to two students. This is Shana, and this is Max. And they are part of the Cyber Senior team, the students, and they're the ones that will be giving the lessons. Um, is there anything you would want to learn from the internet? You, you can learn about anything on the internet, and we're more than happy to show you it, so. Could you explain a bit about this face, uh, book? Facebook? Facebook? Face something okay. and, and you're having to be a friend. Okay, yeah, <laughs> it is some funny. So you, people can log on and they can join and add each other and just Facebook called each other friends where other people call them profiles, right? So you add a profile, add a friend, you know, it makes it simpler to say add a friend, right? So once you sign up, you pretty much become like a friend, right? And then if someone wants to add you, you click, they click add a friend or you add them as a friend and then they, they join and it just connects. Yeah. Yeah. Does anyone else have any more questions about? Hello. I would like to know, I had a boyfriend years and years ago, and sometimes I wonder whatever happened to him, <laughs> I broke it off. <laughs> well, we can help you find him if you'd like. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's a date. <laughs> Max and Shane are gonna go around the room now. If you have any other questions, you can ask them. And if you're interested, you can give us your name and phone number so that I can phone you tomorrow and book some, some times that we can meet. Are both of you interested? Oh, we think so. I, I, I can make it do exactly what you want. OK. And now the symbols, I'm sort of doing it hit and miss right now. I'll show you how to type in, and you can have a refresher. I can remember our first television, and I can remember the aerial going up on the roof. And after a while, you look down the street, and you could see just about every roof had an aerial on. That's what sticks out in my mind. There's a huge generation gap, I think, because it's come so fast. When you watch television and things like that, they're always using computers, they're always talking about computers, and you can't help but, you know, be curious and wonder and think, well, well, that's what we should be doing. Before 1923, I thought it was like 88. Okay. Yeah. I think all my kids are in their 60s. Even my youngest, Tommy. Tommy was born in 1953, and he's my baby. 
Now he's a big mine owner down in Australia. As I get older, I remember them more and more as they were little, you know? I, I think of a new cute little incident about them just about every day. And you'd like to share that with them? Yeah, but I can't too much, you know? I mean, they're not around for one thing, but uh, people don't write letters the way they used to. All right, so it's just still starting up. It's just going to take a minute. See the little hourglass? So, so just far, all we've wait, done is training. turn yeah, that on. You just turned it on. This was already on. Yeah. So when this turned on, you, your screen just automatically. So here, I'll get you to hold the mouse. Put your hand like this. So I'm going to get you to type Facebook. Boom. Facebook helps you connect and share with the people in your Oh, so. You don't already have a Facebook, right? No? OK, so. What? I don't have it. I don't know any. <laughs> nothing, nothing. I know all how right. to turn it on, that's all. <laughs> I, 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 re I really don't believe I could learn. I, I don't know. I think I'm too old. There. You're in. Oh. Is that him? Uh, oh, that could be Tommy. Uh, yeah, I think it is. So click this picture, and it's going to get bigger so you can see it nicely. Yeah, that's top. Oh, Perfect. Dear see you. how you can pull up pictures? Like, yeah. And then if you click on the photo, yeah. just go over here, or this arrow, either or. Yeah. It's just going to show you his next one. Oh, boy, nobody's going to believe it in my family if I actually learn to use this, you know. You'll have to show them. You'll have to add them I all on know. Facebook and say, yeah. hey, what now? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm stuck. No, no, well, it's okay. Uh, no, I, yeah. All right, let's see. How did you end Thank up over you. here? I, I guess I'm as one go because. Well, I don't know. I don't know. It's all right. If you want a hand, just give me a sec. My Barrett spring. Okay. Thank you. Can you see the white, uh, the white bar? I can see the white bar. But okay. I can't see what it says on it. No, no, that's okay. Actually, you don't need to know what it says. Oh. If you can come up with the the mouse and just windows, yes. Yeah, so. yeah, Joan Nix, yeah. nineteen. You remember that? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. The top one is always the most oh, recent the top one. one. Yeah, it's always the most recent one. Okay. Instead of deleting this email, you opened it. So I'll go back to your inbox. Uh, then I could delete them all. That's right. Time. So do you have your friend's email in there? Okay. I want to go back space. There you go. How are you doing? That's you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, just, sorry. I thought it was just a default black and white Excuse shot. Me, that can showed you help me for a minute? So I don't have to wait yeah. half an hour. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Joan. <laughs> One youngster said I was very brave in Flanders Field, which was the first oh. war. <laughs> this is Ellard Yeo when he was about my age. Wow. Yeah, wow. that's lots, quite the hairstyle. Lots right? of hairstyle. The 29th of November, I'll be 90. As you can probably tell, I'm old enough to be in the war. And I taught navigation for about two years and then went overseas and I became what they called a Pathfinder radar navigator. So you, uh, you said you wanted to email? Oh, you call that emailing? Yeah, email is... Um... It's a, it's a service on the internet that you can send messages between computers. I see. Yes, I'd, I'd be very interested to take a shot at it. So you've got www. and now you go hotmail.com. Hi, come on in. Hi, my name's Henry. Oh, hi, Henry. Hi. Good to meet you. Yeah. So you're going to be the lucky guy that's going to try to teach me? That's right, that's right. I'll be your teacher. Aye, 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 aye. Hope you have lots of patience, young man. Yeah. I can't remember how old you told me you were. I was 77, September 3rd. No. Oh. I've been living here for 19 years. I moved in uh, three years after my husband passed away. So you have been a widow for how many 22 years? years. Wow. So what, what is the most advanced piece of technology you currently use? <laughs> <laughs> the telephone. <laughs> I don't know how interested I am, really. Um, it's except that all the world around me 
can't figure out why I'm not using the internet. And they get angry with me because they have to phone me if they want to invite me to a party. I can't get this email stuff. I listen to the stories of my friends and how frustrated that my printer isn't working. I, this isn't working. I've got to wait till my son comes. Well, you know, my kids are lucky. I'm not bugging them. They don't have Henry, though. No, but Henry, are you available 24-7? Always. Oh, great. I've been looking for someone like you, but you're too young. <laughs> so what's our plan of action going to be? Like, lesson one, lesson well, two? Well, lesson three. one, I might as well teach you how to turn a computer on and off. OK. There we go. Oh, you almost had it. No, no, no. There we go. you got to wait for it to glow. It It'll tell you when you're on it. There we go. All right, so um, this is a laptop. Right. So this is just a list of the icons that you have on your computer. Um, to open an icon, you have to double click. Your, uh, your clicks here are left and right. So to select something like uh, an icon, you want to left click. And it's a PC, not a Mac, so you have to do it twice in repetition like that. You have to do it a lot faster than that. Yeah, yeah you have to go like, yeah. And that'll open the internet. Oh, what did you do? There's three things that I don't keep. know what I did. Then why did I do it? How am I going to know what to do when you're not here? You better move in. Yeah, I got really. an extra bedroom. <laughs> Hi, Hello. Come in. Come in. <laughs> How are you? Good. Oh. My name is Anastasia. Anastasia. Da. I'm Ebert. 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 Nice Hi. to meet you. I've done a lot of speaking in front of people. Yes. I'm an Anglican clergyman, an ordained Anglican clergyman. I'm 87 years of age, and I've, a lot of my friends have passed away. My wife passed away about uh, 21 months ago, and, uh, and she was very good at maintaining contact. I got a computer a few years ago, but I uh, have not used the computer very much except for email. Well, I have um, set up for Facebook, but I don't really know how to use it. My grandchildren are on Facebook, and and my great-grandchildren are getting on Facebook. Uh, and uh, they use it a lot, so I'd like to be using it more. Ebert, today we're going to go on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, do you remember how to get there? Well, I think I just, uh, no. No? Okay, <laughs> well, first. Yeah, they, first thing I, I bring up Facebook. I go on, yes. my, I go on Firefox, mm -hmm. which is my internet. Oh, here you go. You're already logged in. Yeah. So, this is your Facebook page. And um, do you know how to use it? No. No? Oh, OK. This is your profile picture. Oh, where are you? Oh, I'm out in the water. Oh, it looks, tube. looks I, like a lot of fun. My kids won't let me water ski anymore, so they like, <laughs> put me in a tube. <laughs> you have a very big family. Four children, ten grandchildren, five great grandchildren. Wow, you're a lucky man. <laughs> I'm a lucky man. <laughs> Oh. How do you memorize everyone's birth dates? Oh, I don't, not good at that. My wife is good at that. <laughs> now, would you click create album? On our way rejoicing. You know, when you start aging, young lady, I do recommend one of these. I <laughs> am 90. I think we talked about it. I was born on February 18th, 1921. So you enjoy singing? No, I don't. <laughs> now, can I spring you out of that lazy boy? <laughs> you insist? <laughs> you know, that's very up. selfish. I was so comfy. Now, what do you want me to do? Stand Lesson on my head? Lesson time. I beg your pardon? Lesson time on the computer. <laughs> oh, of course. I beg your pardon. I forgot why you were here. <laughs> Oh, dear. Have you ever heard of YouTube? Yes, I've heard of it, but I have no clue as to what it means. Ah, well, look, there it is. Press it. An internet website where there's videos. You can watch any... No! Yes, it's wonderful. So what, what, what was the song that you wanted to hear? The, do you know the Alleluia Chorus? No. Young lady, <laughs> you are uneducated musically. Now, let's see, how, how, oh. 
This is the search bar. This is where you write in what you're looking for. It's from things more commonly of their pets, their friends, TV shows, to music. Everything is here. Hallelujah. 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 photo ask question what's on your, what's on your mind is what always gets me um, what's the thing? so you got a friend request from oh yeah who's he he's uh, from another building he's in the same program oh he's in Christie gardens if you know oh. <laughs> yeah. just we can talk to him in real time right now just just try this all right okay so just say hello well how did I get him I mean I'm oh it was a friend invite right we went up to your notifications for yeah. an invitation H E, where's the shift? E. There. Hello, Ellard. Oh, dear. <laughs> now we just wait, you know. He should respond soon. Oh, maybe he's in church or something. Oh, no, this is Monday. Oh, hold on a second. You got a message. Sure, Edie. <laughs> said hi. Hello, Ellard. Hello. Oh, dear. Well, I mean, you say hi back if you want. Oh, he'll look at my picture and say, I don't want to hear from her. So there's a picture. She has her on the right. Yeah. Um, huh. Let's see. Where's the... Look here. Ellard is typing. Oh. Oh, hello, Ellard. Hello, Shara. Oh. And uh, he, is he in Toronto, or does he live in another city? He's in Toronto, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. He's in Christie Gardens, if you know. Oh. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> That's personal. H. You're no. asking that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm almost 90 in yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be 89 on my next birthday. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how long he's been living in um, uh, a senior citizen residence. You could ask him right now. How what? long have you been? in a senior citizen residence. <laughs> What's your age? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, oh. 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 Oh, we meet again. Exclamation mark? No, I just put period. OK. Oh, isn't that great? <laughs> Oh, I wanted to ask how many grandchildren he had. Oh. Another time. Another time. Oh, that was great. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm supposedly, I, I have a good uh, imagination. And all these things that I never even dreamed about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just marvelous. Yeah. Hi, Chris. It is Grandpa doing Facebook. <laughs> if you get this right back, though, so I... Celebrate. You... Celebrate. What are you going to celebrate? Hooray, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I got on Facebook. <laughs> now, if you want to keep things easier, you can um, go to video. 
right here, you can just press the red button, which will start it. And you can leave him a message saying, hey, how are you, blah, blah, blah. And then when you're finished, you uh, press the red button. Hello, Chris. It's Grandpa. I'm just getting a lesson on how to use Facebook, so I thought I'd drop, up, drop in and see you. Hope all is going well. Oh, look, it looks like Brown one. Uh, Only Brown didn't. Yeah. She commented. She left a comment on your video. <laughs> Let's read it. Let's read it. Go. She said, you just made my day. I <laughs> love you too, Grandpa. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Good morning, Auntie Annette. Mazel tov. I never thought this day would occur. <laughs> the day that I could send you an email and you would actually receive it. Welcome to a whole new world of information. Okay, so I think we're gonna get you set up with Facebook now. No, Facebook is where you put all your friends. Yeah. And where you delete friends. This is where people get angry because they've been on and then they're deleted. And I know this can cause big problems. Well, so I think these machines are well, very dangerous. Well, nowadays, if you if you remove a contact from your Facebook, it doesn't tell them. If they are, if they go to your profile, then they can see it. That's right. Well, they go and they find out they're not on anymore, and they're insulted. It's okay. very bad. So to sign up is it's over down here. Okay. Um, so I write in my name and everything. Yeah, it's it's really simple. It's it's easy uh, now. September third, nineteen thirty four. It doesn't go back that far. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. So sign up. Are you really sure you want to do this? Yeah. Okay. Once you're in Facebook, we'll never. There's no turning back. Yeah. I've got I've got four people there. I'm being televised and listened to. <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much and lots of love to the family. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> she got quite a kick out of that. What about Facebook? I beg your pardon? Facebook? Facebook. I am sorry. I know the word, but I, don't, I have no clue as to what it means. You don't have a Facebook account yet? No. So we're going to set you up. We're going to get you your okay. own account. Right. All right. So you go, yeah, that's right, sign up. Do you know how to go through this prompts and stuff? Yeah, okay. Now enter. Okay, it says there's an existing account associated with this email. A bigger pardon? What do you, do you have? Do you have a Facebook? Do you have a Facebook account? No. 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 <laughs> because it says that there's already a Facebook account so that's set up yeah. with well, this email. there may be, and I've forgotten. Oh. You see, when you're 90, young lady, All right, hold on a the second. elevator goes slowly to the third floor. We, we can, can actually... send it, yeah, we can say forgot your password, yeah. and it'll send your Go password. down to forgot your password. Okay. Do you know the password to your email? I've had quite a few of them forget their passwords, and um, the answer to the security question never helps. Hello? Hi, yeah, um, yeah uh, we need to reset an email password. So in this case, all I need to ask for a security question uh, in order to ensure that we are talking to the correct person is, what is your pet's name? Oh, what is your pet's name? I don't have a pet anymore. <laughs> what was, what oh, was it? Muffin. 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 Okay, um, is there another pet name? Alice. 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 That's the one. Bingo. I had a dog, then I had a cat. Right. <laughs> what I do is I take a deep breath. <laughs> And then I start from the beginning. Oh, man. They don't really understand what a website is versus what an email is. Sorry, you typed in email.com? I typed in www.email.com. Yeah, that's the problem. I sort of have to uh, guide them where to click. Bit to the left, bit to the right. Nope, you went gone too far. Down, down. Click and then drag it down. Click. Yes, no, click and drag it down. Click and drag. And then I click and drag it down. It's kind of like walking a tightrope. <laughs> for them all the time.
Max, what's your usual routine when you guys do a lesson together? Uh, we usually open up Facebook, check her news feed, and she usually has lots of news with all her family, right? Oh, there's so many. It's just absolutely amazing. It's funny. I'm, like, following her life just because I'm with her all the time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was thrilled when we got onto the uh, recipe section. Oh, yeah. Every time we're together, Shira just wants to watch uh, cooking tutorials on YouTube. So is Max in this? Okay, everything's rolling? Yeah. Okay, um, Shura, could you start just by introducing yourself? Uh, oh, hi everybody on YouTube. My name's Shora, and um, I'm here to show you how I have my lunch quite often. My microwave I'm afraid of, so I don't use it at all. But I love corn on the cob, and this is the right size to cook corn in. Oh, yes, I'm going to make you grilled cheese sandwiches, too. All right. OK. What's the iron for? OK, now, which is the hottest? Polyester, nylon, cotton, aluminum foil. I have to. Sure. What are you doing with the aluminum foil? Ooh, yep, it's getting nice and hot. Come on, cheese, start melting. There. And here's a little sandwich. You see? Well, I guess that little cooking lesson is over for now. You've got an idea. Well, uh, you forgot the corn. the corn. Hey? Eh? The, the corn. Oh, the corn. Hey, come here, corn. These are ideas for your university dorm or a retirement residence or and, <laughs> Even if you live in a boarding house, I don't know if people have boarding houses anymore. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs> oh, doesn't that look nice to mm. see you all sitting there? Oh, what a handsome group. <laughs> oh, it's frozen. Never mind. It's what? It's frozen. It's frozen? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Why did it freeze? We only need this one. It's email. cold outside. <laughs> okay, so I go over here and um, print in. Faithful woman wanted. Oh my goodness, look at all this stuff. <sighs> Let's see. Single, you make these things go too fast. No, I, They're clicked, interesting. I clicked on it and then you started reading it. And yeah, but I want to see it. it. Can't you go back to the single man? <laughs> That's why I would use this stuff for. <laughs> What type of relationship are you looking for? A date? Yeah, a friend and activity partner. All right. OK, you all guys right. tell me, how old am I? You all know. You were born and well, I was born in 93. How old am I, everybody? I, people tell me I look like 65. <laughs> people, oh, well. <laughs> so should we kind. lie? Elementary, high school, some college, associated. Some college. Date. You could put down your PhD, why not, right? I'm not a PhD. Okay, I don't want a right. PhD. Okay. They're boring. Oh, now you gotta describe yourself and your personality. Happy. Happy, eccentric. I don't know. I'm not eccentric. No. Oh. Happy. Haha, uh -huh, you gotta match. 64 years old, lives in Thornhill. He looks a hell of a lot. I got news for you. If that guy looks 64. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Come and look. Ripped and to you shreds. tell me. I yeah. guess he likes to travel. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe. He's probably in his mother's place in Florida. <laughs> Ouch. Not a chance. <laughs> so, do you like seniors more or less than you did before you started? Um... It's, well, I mean, I think it's like anything. I've really gotten used to them. I mean, when I first got here, you know, they were funny. They were kind of comical, you know, they were cute, I guess. Um, but now, I don't, I don't know, I just see them as regular people. In my Facebook, I just have pictures of me running through the meadows and stuff like that. And, uh, <laughs> I'll bet. Giving <laughs> food to the homeless and all that jazz. <laughs> when they come into it, they look at it as a whole thing. They think, oh my gosh, the computer, the internet, it's... It's just a big monster and I'll never be able to conquer it. But once they break it down, then they find it a lot easier. Hold on. The whole thing just crashed. We just lost everything. I crashed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of it. I didn't know I could. <laughs> At first, I thought, 
like, oh, like, 90-year-old wouldn't really, like, be able to learn, but most of the people that are actually picking it up, like, quite fast are 90 years old, so sure. it's really, like, surprising. I don't, I don't think I'd really look at age as a factor. Isn't this fun, being able to see each other? Yeah. She literally woke up, like, three minutes ago. Oh, I see. Oh, though, did you make that snowflake? Yeah. Oh, oh look, Red's oh. eating the other one. <laughs> <laughs> no eating the paper, Red. <laughs> oh, I got a paper plate. Can you count my fingers now? One, two. You've only got two showing here. Oh. How many have I got now? That's right. right. He got them all that time. Yeah, we've got a low battery. We have to figure out how to plug this in. Uh, we've got to go soon anyway. The boys have to go now. Can you say goodbye, boys? Goodbye, boys. Goodbye. Bye. Why, oh, that was good. Yeah? That's why I'm taking these lessons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it's so, been so nice meeting you kids. Yeah, thank you. I like meeting young people. Do you? I told you I was 92, didn't I? Yeah, oh yeah. And when you get old like me, it's kind of nice to see young people. Yeah. Mr. Yo, I mean, he's 90 and he's he can do banking online. He does his email, he's got everything set up. He used to have to go to Oakwood and St. Clair once a month to do some kind of line of credit thing. He's told me it took almost the whole day so when I showed him how to do online banking, he really liked it. So I think that's something that he really, uh, he really enjoyed and really made it beneficial for him. After this experience, do you think there's a generation gap? <laughs> of course. The biggest one, I think, ever, actually. Like, I don't think there'll ever be a, another jump like this. We've lost human connection in one sense, but we've kind of made up for it with technology. Not that that's a good thing, but, <laughs> but at least um, when they learn the technology aspect, they can connect again. So that's good. Hello? Oh, hi, Shora. It's Brenda calling. Oh, hi, Brenda. <laughs> you know, all of the other seniors are so inspired by your YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hearing <laughs> very nice remarks. <laughs> I know you are. And I have to tell you, I think you're going to have some competition soon. Oh, who, who, who? Well, because everybody wants to do it now, and so we're going to have a contest to see who gets the most views of their YouTube video. Oh, oh. <laughs> what we really kind of wanted to do was we wanted to do the theme of, you know, what can you, what can you teach us? We've got all of these incredibly smart, wise senior citizens. It could be like a philosophy on life. It could be the secret to living to be 90. I think my dad might do one, actually. He might do it on golf tips. You know, he is an 80-year-old man that loves to golf, and everybody's got their own philosophies on, on life. Well, I've certainly come to the conclusion that uh, uh, exercise is, is something that I, uh, I must do. Yeah. Not just maybe. Yeah. I, I must do. So do you know about the, the kind of like the competition that's going on now? Well, uh, Brenda came and talked to me about it, and uh, finally, finally I said, well, sure, I'll do something. And I only put this together yesterday. What exercise means to me. Yeah, that's a good idea. We can play with that. So you're going to be the main main person in the, the film. And mm -hmm. so and then we're going to put it on YouTube, and we're going to try to get as many views as possible. Yeah, I, I say we go outside and we walk, go through your, like, normal route. OK. Yeah. And like plug music behind it and everything. Sure. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. That that's your job. Yeah. You cool with that? Yeah. All right. Well, hello, YouTube. My name is Ellard, and I'm talking to you today about what exercise means to me. About two years ago, I contracted uh, Parkinson's disease, and so I'm inclined to shuffle. I try to do a, a daily walking to the bank, to Loblaws or to FEMA, which is across the street, for some coffee. My son-in-law uh, gave me a, a pair of hiking poles, 
And, and so I'll use one or both if I go outside. exercise program. Tell me about your program if you have any by commenting below. So you liked the video? Oh, well, all my, oh, especially my, my uh, I have a whole bunch of nieces. One of them thought it was one of the funniest comedies she'd ever seen. <laughs> have you told them about the competition? Um, not, well, I've told some people, and of course they've told other people. So um, they all tell me that I should win, but of course, <laughs> too bad they're not gonna be here to vote. They vote online, they can vote anywhere. Oh, really? Yeah. Hi, guys. It's Cash again, founder of the Cyber Seniors Program. It's the second week of the Cyber Seniors Corner Competition, and we have four new exciting entries. 90-year-old BFFs Millie and Evelyn talk about the importance of friendship. Remember, the more views, comments, and likes that your video gets, the better your chances are of winning. Millie and Evelyn's is beating mine. Hello, YouTube. My name is Evelyn. And my name is Millie. And today we're going to talk about friendship. Friends are important because at our age, we don't we don't have many family around us, and and a lot of our friends have most of our friends have died already. Do you know what BFF stands for? BFF yeah. best no best friends forever. Oh oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Friendship, friendship, just a perfect friendship. <laughs> it, uh, it, was, it was nice, I suppose, but it's uh, not what it could have been. <laughs> if, I, if I was directing, <laughs> forgive me for saying that. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, oh, 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 well, I need more hits on YouTube. M-E-N-T. Oh, oh, and oh. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, hello. Oh, for heaven's sakes, talk of angels. Yes, well, anyway, I'm seeing the different movies that other people have made. We, we so far are only in third place, but it's the people like you and me and any friends that we might have that have to send in um, remarks, you know. Evidently, it's the number of hits that we get that uh, determine who's going to win. Remember, yeah, get everybody you can to send in messages, and I, I will too. Okay, Max, it was nice of you to call, and uh, so a couple of days, and uh, we should be getting some hits. Okay, yeah, you too. Bye-bye. So, what are, do you have some ideas? Well, uh, okay, if, if we're gonna do a good video, right, to beat everyone else's video, uh, we probably have to, like, connect it to something that, um, that the younger generation knows a lot about, right? So, um, some ideas, are, there's a big game called Minecraft. Because, I mean, this is a game that got so big, like, Minecraft's on fire. And you have to play it on the computer. Yes, so there's a creature called a creeper oh. in the game that people can relate to. We can cook something together that looks like it. How many young people are interested in walking sticks? <laughs> What's it called? Tell me a game. The Creeper. No, no, but the show itself. It's not a show. It's a game. Hi, YouTube. 
I'm Shora, and this is Max, and we're going to now make something to quench our thirst after all that work and my understanding of a brand new concept in games called the 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 mind mind tube. What's it called? Mind, Minecraft. Minecraft. And we are going to make a nice drink, we hope, and we have decided to call it the Creeper. The Creeper. Yeah. yeah. All right. So here we go. <laughs> I'm a little bit older than you. A lot. A lot, but <laughs> it's I'm awesome. I'm 93. 93. Mm -hmm. And I've got all my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. That's actually something to be proud of, you know? Not many people at 93 have all their teeth. No. I was thinking we should have you doing like like a music video, but we should include rapping in it. Have you ever listened to rap? No. I said a hip hop, a hippie, a hippie to the hip hip hop. You don't stop a rock into the bang bang boogie. Say up, jump the boogie, the rhythm to the boogie, the beat. Now what you hear is not a test I'm rapping to the beat. Oh. Yeah. That was cute. <laughs> it's supposed to be gangster, but... Uh. Oh. You know what I think we should write a rap about? What? How you're 93 and you still have your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> How hilarious would that be? Just be like, yo, I'm 93 and I still got my teeth. And I'll say, and no cavities. <laughs> yes. Let's do this. All right. <laughs> or this one. And wear all of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're gonna have to wear all of them for the video. Oh, I am? Yeah. Do you mind? No, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Let's roll with it. <laughs> I'm 93 and I have all my teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Out here? Yeah, and just like, just like kind of walking. And here, okay. it's even better if um, you can like move your hands. Okay. And like pause sometimes, you know, like okay. change it up, nod your head sometimes. My teeth are as fresh as hot popped corns. My teeth are as white as wet winter storms. It's minty and cool like spearmint gum. Listen up, son, I'm 93. Yay, I've got a lot of history. So even though I've had a filling or two, you'll never be fresher than me. And my full set of OG teeth, my OG teeth. You just read 50, 30 shades of gray? No, or it's 50. 50 or 50. Yeah. It is definitely erotica. Mm -hmm. It definitely gets your mojo going. And if you think you lost it, you ain't lost it. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. I'm Annette. And I'm Kate. And Kate is going to coach me on six tips on how to pick up. Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. We are the Ponsford Sisters. sisters. Today, we are going to be talking about sisterhood. And today, we are talking about travel. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about music. Today, we have three new exciting entries. Way to go. Everybody over 21 here? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 414 views. My goodness, that's a lot. Oh, good, great video. I'll definitely try the Minecraft Creeper cocktail. That's what I like to see. Oh, awesome video, Max. Oh, everybody thinks Max so handsome. I wish my grandma played Minecraft. <laughs> Somebody says. 18 likes, one dislike. Who could dislike something so innocuous um and, and what which part did they dislike i wonder um <laughs> i don't know maybe i have a secret enemy that i don't know about i think i do know who it might be <laughs> who well i don't want to say 
So the next time we're going to see you will be the party. Oh. When we announce the winners. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> It's, uh, it's supposed to look, it's called a creeper. It's supposed to look like this. Hello, Miss Yura. We've got to go back to work. Lydia, you first? Alert? Oh. That's me. Yeah. That's right. Shura. Oh. Is that you? No. Actually, those. Canes, ever since I saw you with them, I've seen several people. They've become popular. Oh, yeah. Uh, you want to get a commission from whoever sells them. Black diamond. They're made in the Republic of China. Oh, big surprise. Oh. Well, it's perfect. Uh, yeah. Okay, Great. so enjoy. Good luck. Yeah, okay, bye-bye. I'm going to win, though, you know. I hope so. <laughs> After me. <laughs> wonderful to be here and I had a great time watching these videos so let's get to the winners I'm sure that's what you all want to hear our third place video had the most online success Kathy Barthel said that this video has a good chance of going viral that's what everybody wants third place is Marion Cadell and Hanya Chang with the rap video OG teeth <laughs> Moving on to the second runner-up, or it's the first runner-up, excuse me. She sure knows how to have a great time, and we had a great time watching her. I can vouch for that. Second prize goes to Annette and Kate for their six yeah. tips on how to pick up. Thank you. Anyways, what can I say? We had a ball. This has been an unbelievable experience. It pays not to know how to use a computer. Look what happened. <laughs> Maybe I'll go on to bigger and better. Anyways, life is the way it's meant to be. I learned a lot from all of you people of the, the exercise, I exercise, the positive attitude, the traveling. I am going to India at the end of October, and this morning I decided I'm going on another trip to San Francisco and to my friend's granddaughter's bat mitzvah, and I'm going to keep trucking along, and I think all of us will, as long as that guy up there lets us stay well and healthy and positive, and we can have good friends and good times, and cheers. <laughs> Okay, now this is the big moment that you've all been waiting for, the first prize, which was unanimously described as the most original and creative of the bunch. Please give it up for the winner of the Cyber Seniors competition, the video that started it all, Cooking with Shura. <laughs> Oh, go. aren't they lovely? Congratulations. Oh. Come and say a few words. <laughs> Thank you so much. What can I say except this is a unbelievable. <laughs> I, I just feel privileged to have met everybody and then to be rewarded. It's a, a, unbelievable and incredible is all I can say. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Oh, you did. Thank you. My name is Kathy Barthel. I was one of the judges. Congratulations. You're just a dream. I, I, my cheeks are starting to hurt. She wants a picture of us together. For the paper. Beautiful. Honest to God, you must have been a fun young woman. No question. She's still young. Oh. Yeah. Hello, YouTube. Uh, my name is Ebert. And today, I'd like to talk about the change in lifestyle when you become an older citizen. During our uh, adult life, we're involved in uh, developing a career, 
Uh, we're involved in higher education, setting up a home, taking care of children, educating them. And then there comes a time when uh, we retire. And when we retire, we uh, lose a lot of contacts. Children leave home. We are not the same uh, leading member of the community as we used to be. And it is important, I think, as I have found out, uh, that you find a new meaning and purpose in life. Being a senior citizen, being in that stage of your life, you have lost much of what you had before. But at the same time, it can be a pleasant and a sort of freeing time when we're able to do some of the things that we've always wanted to do, but never could. There are people who are in a state of life where they're restricted in many ways. The smaller things are really more important than you think. And to sometimes a smile at the right time means a great deal to a person who needs it, no matter how old we are. We do need a purpose for getting up in the morning. And that purpose is not just to take our pills, but that purpose is to do something which we find pleasurable or satisfying. <laughs>